Senusha remains under the U.S. State Department's Tier 2 watch list for its anti-human trafficking efforts, making it the fifth consecutive year in that category. In its annual Trafficking in Persons report, the U.S. acknowledged that Senusha has made significant efforts to comply with the minimum standards for the elimination of trafficking, but does not fully comply. Overall, the U.S. report said Senusha made a few discernible efforts to prevent trafficking, the issue involving dozens of foreign nationals from Nepal, India and the Philippines being trafficked here was highlighted in that report. While the report noted that an interagency anti-trafficking task force was activated to deal with this issue, it said concerns arose about a lack of coordination among agencies and with NGOs. It was also highlighted that Sinusha remains a source and a destination country for persons subjected to sex trafficking and forced labor. Legal and illegal immigrants from the Caribbean and South Asia, especially those working in domestic service, are the groups most vulnerable to human trafficking, the report said. The report further states that there are indications of internal prostitution of Senusian children. Third-party prostitution of children under 18 is a form of human trafficking. It was also noted that foreign women in prostitution are also vulnerable to sex trafficking. According to police and NGOs, pimps, strip club operators, and brothel owners are the most likely sex trafficking perpetrators in St. Lucia. The report said St. Lucian citizens are subjected to trafficking in the United Kingdom and other Caribbean countries. Off-duty police officers sometimes, the report says, provide security for sex trade establishments here. You're watching the CDV News. Stay with us when we come back. A coordinated approach being taken by the Prime Minister's Office for the residents in the mine.